Hello, my brothers and sisters. It is wonderful to be here with you once again, praying and praising this mighty God. To Him be all the glory and power forever. He is the supreme ruler, commanding the heavenly hosts, the all-powerful being who is loved and worshipped in every corner of the world. His holy name, Jesus, be praised. Today, dear ones, I bring to you Psalm 30, a powerful and impactful psalm that has the potential to break any curses that may be imprisoning your lives. However, before we embark on this journey, let us delve deep into understanding what a curse truly is and how it cunningly infiltrates our lives. A curse is a word infused with malice, an expression that carries negative intentions. It can be spoken, written, or even conceived in our thoughts, bringing along a devastating sense of depreciation, pain, and destruction. Oh, how malevolent is this accursed word, while blessed are those that transmit goodness. Dear ones, take good care of your words, for they have the power to speak blessings, peace, or curses. Understand, my beloved, that words possess immeasurable power. What we speak reveals what resides in our hearts. Each word carries the energy of a feeling. When we are downcast, irritable, and begin to complain, casting words filled with malice and negative emotions, we are inadvertently casting a curse. Therefore, I implore you, exercise caution with what you say, with every word you utter, for each expression released into the air becomes a reality. Remember, my dear ones, that we reap what we sow, this is an inescapable divine law that no one can ignore or evade. It is a common mistake of humans to believe that they can deceive or trick God, as if he can be easily fooled. This illusion is in vain, for God is omniscient, capable of seeing and knowing all things. Nothing can be hidden from him. Often, when someone is engaged in wrongdoing, they imagine that God is too preoccupied with more important matters and thus will not notice their mistakes and sins. However, my dear ones, know that God is always watching. Therefore, it is crucial to be very careful with the words we speak, the thoughts we cultivate, and even the words we write. Within the context of curses, we can identify some main categories. Firstly, we have hereditary curses, those that are passed down from one generation to another within the same family. Secondly, there are curses coming from external individuals, meaning they come from individuals who do not have a direct familial bond. And lastly, we have self-curses, which occur when a person expresses negativity about themselves, wishing harm upon themselves. It is important to highlight that the more infused with negative emotions a curse is, the more powerful it becomes. Furthermore, when repeated frequently, its intensity increases. However, it is essential to understand that a curse can only affect your life if you are involved in a state of sin, as it is sin that creates space for the entry of these curses. Sin feeds on itself, perpetuating its influence. It is important to be aware that Satan is always lurking, relentlessly seeking an opportunity to enter your life, seizing any opening he can find. If you are with Jesus, living according to God's law, the curse cannot penetrate. It is important to understand that as human beings, we inevitably make constant mistakes because our nature is sinful. However, we should not remain in sin, being aware that it is wrong, persisting in our transgressions. The Lord has granted us understanding to discern between right and wrong, and we should always choose the path of goodness, the path of God. When we know that we are choosing a wrong path regardless, with full awareness, God's hand falls upon us because those who possess much knowledge will also be held to a greater account. We should seek God's forgiveness for all our sins and surrender our lives to Him, leaving sin behind. Jesus said, Go and sin no more. If we sin and persist in sin, we are nourishing evil within us. We are not serving God but rather the devil, allowing Him to do as He pleases with our lives because the wages of sin is death. We should ask the Lord to illuminate our paths and help us to walk according to His will, for the Lord's path is good, and His will is perfect and pleasing. Always remember, God is life, and He wants you to live a full life, filled with joy, happiness, and harmony, 
enjoying abundant peace and prosperity. The Lord loves you and wants the best for you. He wants you to follow in His footsteps, obey His commandments, listen to His word, and trust in His power. God longs for a repentant and humble heart, a heart that cries out for His mercy, that repents of all sins, and recognizes Him as the only and sufficient Savior. Therefore, my beloved, let us follow the Lord's footsteps and obey Him, so that we may be blessed with His love. Jesus died on the cross to set us free from all sin and to cast out all evil from our lives. He has given us the authority to cast out demons in His name. We have been given the right to speak in the name of Jesus, a name that is above all others. It is a name full of power. In His name, we bind the works of darkness, combining the power of the Holy Spirit with the authority of the name of Jesus to defeat the enemy. We do not fight against the enemy with our own strength, for we would be defeated, but rather with the power of the Holy Spirit and the authority of the name of Jesus. Demons recognize power and authority, and they submit before them. When you are armed with the mighty weapons of the Holy Spirit and the name of Jesus, you bind all evil that exists in your life. This is how we act, my brothers and sisters, and those who prevent Satan from exerting power over their lives. If you sincerely repent before God, confessing all your sins and recognizing Him as your only Savior, committing to live according to His law, listening to His word, and obeying His commandments, clothed in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus, you will be able to cast out demons from your life and bind all the evil works that attempt to approach you, your life, and your family. My brother and sister, there is no room for hereditary curses or anything else that may bring harm into your life. All of them will be commanded to fall to the ground, for the power of God will be in action through you, eliminating and casting out all evil from your life. The Lord is mighty to destroy all curses, but you need to believe and declare words of blessing over your life. Let us invoke the Lord now, following Psalm 30, and then we will make a powerful prayer to cast out every work of curse present in your life. I will praise the Lord, for he did not let my enemies rejoice over me, O Lord, my God. I cried out to you, and you heard me, Lord, you rescued my soul from death and saved me from going down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, all his saints, celebrate and remember his holiness, for his anger is but for a moment, and his favor brings life. The weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be shaken, but you, Lord, by your favor, made my mountain stand strong, yet you hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried out to the Lord, I pleaded, what profit is there in my blood, when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Have mercy on me, O Lord. Be my helper. Turn my mourning into dancing, remove my sackcloth and clothe me with joy. Then, my God, I will praise you forever. O oh, beloved Father, I cry out to you in this moment. Lord, you have given me authority to do impossible things in your name, but through the power of your Holy Spirit and the authority in your name, I will destroy the evil that exists in my life. I declare that in the name of Jesus, all curses are broken now, and this life is freed from every evil that has imprisoned its soul. Dear brothers and sisters, Share this powerful prayer fervently so that other souls may also be abundantly blessed. Until our next prayer meeting, may the grace of God be upon all of you, illuminating every step of the way.